What is going on guys? Noah and Alex with Madison Angling and we are not fishing today, which I'm sure you couldn't possibly guess from the title of this video or the thumbnail, but we are actually in Iowa hunting wild pheasants. I absolutely have fallen in love with upland bird hunting over the last couple years because of this guy, who by the way works for Pheasants Forever, so knows a little bit about bird birds dogs, man. and bird, bird dogs. dogs. And we have Mitch in the back, he's like the best boy ever, and he's chilling in the back right now and whimpering with excitement because he wants to go get some birds. But anyway, my first time ever hunting Iowa, Alex has hunted down here for a long time, like 15 years 20 probably. years. Almost 20 years. 20 years. Hunted 18 because I couldn't hunt when I was 10, but I was down here. He ran around with BB guns shooting at pheasants. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we are after some wild birds, totally wild, not stocked. We're not on a game farm. We are hunting private property, some beautiful property, some amazing, amazing habitat. And he says we're gonna shoot a limit of birds today. And in Iowa, a limit is three per person, only roosters. We could shoot a limit. Okay, we could, sorry, I misspoke. We could shoot a limit of birds. Know. I can't make that big of a promise, but we're gonna have a chance. We're gonna see birds today, for sure. I'm so. very, I'm very, very excited. So we're gonna stop rambling. We're gonna get loaded. There. See the roosters running along the ditch? There's pheasants, right there. literally. There's, yeah, You're not gonna see them, but there's pheasants <laughs> running right next, right next to us. If that's not a sign, and we're literally just driving on our way to where we're gonna go hunt, just random birds in the ditch. So we're gonna get loaded up here in a little bit. We're gonna get after some Iowa pheasants. I am super excited, dude. We'll go get Let's them. do it. <laughs> nice shot. I think he got him. Deer. <laughs> Completely off. <laughs> Look how young that bird is. Look at the spikes. Wow. Beautiful. Good boy, did you see that point? That was perfect, did you see me fall? Yeah. That was great, yeah. there's a deer. Yeah. Holy crap, so many things happening. Nice no. shot. Got him. One down. <laughs> Woo! Dead bird, Mitch! Yep. Dead bird, Mitch! Dead bird! It's right here somewhere. I crushed the shit out of him. Good boy. That is my first wild Iowa wild rooster. rooster. Decent spikes on him too. Yeah, not that's not too bad. Nope. Wow, look at the tail on him. Gorgeous. Wow, that is my first wild yeah. pheasant. Mitch worked him up good. That was cool. I didn't realize there were two. I shot at the other one. It's kind of a long shot, but there you go. That thing's beautiful. There's another two to get here. Come All on. right, that was really exciting. Oh, I smoked them. I crushed them. How did that happen? Dude, I smashed him. I pulled up because he smashed him. He's going to be laying down really God damn it. Is how you do that. Woo! What did I say about be ready? They're easily can get them locked up in the ditch. Good boy, Mitch, come! Come! Nice. That is how you kill a bird. Here's a 20. Put a charge in them right now. Yeah. That's a big bird. That's a seven one. It was in my yeah. vest. That's a good one. Not that. Frickin' bird. 
Wow. And uh, he was gonna let us turn around and go the other way, sitting in that little tiny ditch. Because the smart ones do that. But might have been smart, but it's even smarter. Might have been smart, but the 12 gauge was smarter. Would you mind bagging me up? Good Thank job. you. Thank you. That was a gimme. That was an easy shot. Good boy, Mitch. I Mitchell. I think we did. I put a. Mitchell. I was, I was watching it going. Good boy. Oh, in trouble. <laughs> oh yeah. He oh was yeah. Still trying to get into the wind at that point. It was like you're not moving that fast. No. Nope. See what we did there? We got up to the edge. Yep. Knowing he's gonna take. He's the gonna wind, go this and way. And I went up here. And pushed yep. Him. Kind of a pinch point. I get it. It all makes sense now. And you did exactly what you thought he'd do. We were over there. Straight up. Yep. There. There. And he went. Yep. Damn it! I'm stuck. Come on, Mitch. It's amazing not though. Not gonna want to run out there. It's amazing though holding something that small. It's pretty cool. He's running, he's running. Get burnt, Mitch, get burnt, Mitch. I got him. That's your bird. 100%. Is that him? Did you see him try to get up? Yeah. He was messed up. He wasn't hurt. He was hurting. Nice. Nice shot. Wow. Good boy, Mitch. Holy crap. Got him. That Ain't nobody is... getting away from us. Nice. Here. <laughs> Did you see the feathers come out of him? Oh, yeah. Mitch grabbed him and it went up. Mitchell. Mitchell. Mitchell! Hey, look at that. I found his little... Here, buddy. Good job. He's like, dude, I don't care. I want more birds. There's the other one. Oh, jeez. I think we got him. Nice shot. I thought I put him down harder than that. You hit him pretty hard. Did you see him, though, getting up? He was like... He was not getting up well. Yeah, he was slow. And that's why he stayed. Yeah. <laughs> Nice shot. Did he go down dead? Yeah, he's dead. I hit him too. You crushed him though. Yeah. All right. Nice dude. That's a nice bird. Booster. Look how big that thing's tail is. See how he double backed on him? Yeah. But I cut out. Yep. Wow, that was sweet. It was completely unnecessary that I shot. I saw you clearly killed it and I shot it anyway. <laughs> I don't want to run and we don't want to lose any. We haven't lost any yet. Nope. All right, one more. It's looking pretty locked up. Where is he, Mitch? Same spot. No. Drop. Dude, how did we we stepped on that thing? Yep. Oh. You got him. I got him. Hey, bud. <laughs> what? So I lost a rooster in this field. This could be the bird I lost two weeks ago. Really? Yep. Wow. Good boy. Good boy. You guys got a hey, hold bud. of them. Pretty. That's pretty a good. Bird. 
I mean, it wasn't exactly. Good job, there. Mitch. Good boy. He's like, you guys, he's right here. He's right here. Why are you guys, why, why haven't you killed it? Not quite. Okay, he's gonna go to sleep. He's out. Yeah. Look at the feathers on that thing. Yeah, man, this is an old one. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, he's a big boy. Nice spikes. Look at that. Nice tail feathers. He almost completely removed, but they're still there. I think that was mostly you. <laughs> Might have been. All right, well, it's hey. a good day when you have to unload your gun before you're done finishing your walk out. I love picking up cripples too, because at least that bird's not going to sit out here and suffer. You know? Right. He yep. feels skinny too, so that could be a bird that I left here. Maimed him, yeah. Good well, boy, Mitch. I told you he's not a liar. I know. I he never doubted him for a second. I was just really confused how two of us didn't kick it up. I know. But that's why I started saying dead bird. Uh-huh. Start happens. digging. Yeah, right. I've, I've picked up cripples before. Like He must have been just buried. Yeah, they just say, all right, I can't go anywhere. Huh. I'm gonna sit here and hope that they step on me twice and never get me. Well, that's it's like, no, man, I know where you are. Well, that's perfect timing because my hip is toast. It is done. Well, and I don't, I don't want to blow it out for tomorrow. All right, guys, that's a limit. Woo! All right. We went out and we conquered six birds. That is my first ever Iowa pheasant hunt shooting wild pheasants. And we limited out. We got our six roosters and we saw close to 100 birds probably. Probably. Probably not quite 100, but close to 100. And they're all wild birds. All wild. That's crazy. I've never hunted wild pheasants before in my life. So that's that's pretty darn cool. And I have. If you have the cover, you're going to have birds. There's no way around it, especially in the state of Iowa. Find the CRP and you're going to find pheasants. Thank you very much for putting me on some oh, amazing yeah. shooting. We got and two more days. We got two more days, guys. So this is day one of our three day iowa pheasant trip we will see you on day two what's up guys day two of our iowa pheasant hunt we are getting ready to rock there's a truck coming we're gonna keep this short and sweet so we're just gonna get right into hunting today got a limit yesterday worked really hard for them but we got our six birds so hopefully that hard <laughs> i worked really hard my hip hurts really bad today old man syndrome so we're gonna get rolling here not upland shape system. no not an upland shape oh never mind he pulled off but anyway we're gonna stop talking let's go get some birds I just watched one run out and get out. I'm I'm gonna get down there. Hey, he's on a bird. This might be where that one just got out. Got him. It's snowing. Oh my God. All right, day two. Bird one of the morning. I got him. Oh wow. Yeah, I got him. Good point. That was perfect. Oh no, that's gross. But oh look, wait, what do we have here? That's the Noah Humfeld special. No. Yeah, that's gross. That's that's gross. That's pretty unfortunate. Okay, well, do you want to throw stinky in here for me? Yeah. Alright, well, not exactly a perfect shot. That was a perfect shot. I mean it was, but uh oh. Alright. On to the next one. Oh, there's a big buck, dude. Dude, if we were doing a drive, we could shoot that sucker so easy. That's a nice buck. And he no, kicked... He kicked out our rooster. Uh, yeah, two of them. Rooster and a hen. Too far. Too... Easy, too far. Easy. Yep. I got him. Okay, kind of have to gain my composure for a second. That is a beautiful bird. That way flew up. There were 20 of them that got up over here. Uh, we there, yeah, there was a big rooster and a hen that got out. Who shot that? We literally pulled the trigger at the exact same time. <laughs> for real though, who shot that? All right, I guess that means I got number two here. That is, ooh. We got three. Got it. So we got one limit, three to go. And you may also be wondering why I'm walking down the mode path and he's walking through all the thick stuff. 
it all evens out because I have to run. When we get about three quarters of the way down the fence line, I have to run to get to the far corner. It's basically like doing a deer drive where I block them because almost all these birds are getting off in the end in yep. the corners. And what happens is either they come out when you're blocking them or they realize you're there and they try to tuck in and then I run into them on the backside. But you gotta try to pinch them because especially this is a really young planting. If they got this much room to run, they're gonna run. So <laughs> you gotta drive them and pinch them somewhere. Which I think Mitch might be pointing. Oh boy. Nice shot. Feathers right here. Dead. 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 Hocked them pretty right here. Easy, easy, Mitch, easy. E hey, drop, drop it. Good boy. You just got the Good boy. There he is. Good job, buddy. Oh, yeah, dead. Just buried himself. <laughs> yeah, he's messed up. Wow, he's a tail on him. Nice bird, dude. Is. Oh wow, that's like <laughs> this year. Another good one, man. One more. One more. Nice it's job. A limit out of this field. Nice job. I had a feeling there might be birds in here. I saw his tail sticking up. Nice. Yeah. That's why you got to keep pounding Mitchell. People. Good job, buddy. I know a lot of people good that would have walked away and said, well, maybe we'll pick him up down here. And he's sitting here dead. Yeah. So, so we, remember when you were like, yeah, they're going to run in this cover. And when you were telling me about coming down here, yeah. You're going to have to run. Like, yep. you got to run. You weren't kidding. You got to cut them off. And Notice Dude, we're my, all getting up on my, the corners. My cardio is going to be so good when we get home. I got him. Stop. Hey. Drop it. Hey. Hey. Drop, drop. That didn't take very long. We're done. We didn't get to see it. No. Cool. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's done. That's a nice bird. Did you see how many birds just got up? Two, right? It no. was him and a hen, right? No, there were three more that got up behind us. Oh, really? When we were shooting, they just kept getting up. Uh oh. Nice job, dude. That's another rooster in the bag. Six birds. Here. I get to carry it out. You shot it. That's true. I missed. I know. All right, well. I'm pretty excited for you to miss. Nice job. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how I missed, but I did. I think I was just so shocked the bird got up. Well, that's another good day when you have to walk out with an unloaded shotgun. Nice, dude. Day two, another two man Iowa limit. That is how we do that. Not too shabby. And we could still hunt this whole thing tomorrow because we didn't touch it. I like that. I think we'll come back here tomorrow. Alrighty guys, that is gonna wrap up our pheasant hunting adventure. Thank you very much, Alex, for taking me along. That was an absolute blast. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching something a little different, something that wasn't fishing for a change. Uh, so we just wrapped up day three of our trip, which you guys are not going to see because I decided to not wear a camera today because it's incredibly distracting to shoot birds when you have a camera strapped to your head. So I just wanted to go hunt today and not worry about filming. And uh, we actually did end up shooting our limit of birds, although, we're not actually taking home our six birds from today. Alex hit a bird, um, really nice big rooster, and unfortunately we were not able to recover that bird. It took off running and we spent quite a while trying to find it. We never did find it. Unfortunately it does happen. These are wild, tough birds, especially that was a big bird. It was probably a, a, an older one. Uh, but you gotta do the best you can and the ethical thing to do is call it a day at five, But we're going home with 17 roosters in three days. That'll be enough to, <laughs> to feed us for a little while. Uh, but pretty darn good for the two-year-old bird dog. We're getting it done. Yeah, Mitch absolutely crushed it. And I got to shoot a couple of birds over Mitch last year. And he has come such a long way since last year. This is it's fun. Amazing. This is fun now. You see the light bulb come on, and it's pretty amazing. He knows exactly what we're doing. That's over half the fun of doing this oh, is yeah. watching Mitch do his thing because he is so freaking good at it and he's only going to get better. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.